Holy, it's freaking snowing today, boys and girls. That tree, poor thing's losing all its little dewies. And if you checked out the Facebook, of course, you've seen they're all over my truck. Yeah, oh, there's some more deweys coming off. Look at them, eh? Holy. Well, good evening, tubes. How is she going? So, uh, we were out doing some uh, weed whacking this morning and stuff, and uh, some mowing and stuff, and it started raining crap, of course, but whatever. Uh, so, anyway, so I, I was whack weed whacking with my, uh, this is an FS90, pretty good machine. Uh, not so good for super heavy, heavy stuff, though. It kind of bogs off a bit and, and stuff, so I kind of got to get my big daddy uh, going here. So, let's rip the door open and uh, we'll get the big daddy out. And there is the big daddy, the big KM Whoa 130R. That thing freaking rocks. But anyways, I gotta switch the head deweys on it because right now I got my uh, my uh, murder and saw blade killing thing on it right now. I was out chopping some trees and stuff the other day with it, but uh, this thing's pretty slick. I think I showed you this before. Basically, it's this is the combi attachment thing they call it. So that just pops right off and then you can take your dewey and go with it and you know there's all my other other deweys there for you know chainsaw and stuff the, the big chainsaw and dewey so anyways we gotta take this in the back and probably put the guard back on it uh, i usually take the guard off when i'm using the saw blade because it's just a, a nuisance and stiff now i got a guard over here she should be good to go Put that on after, but we got to get this blade off here first. So, at our drawer here, we should have our tool. That's the tool. And uh, let me just put you down. We'll get that off. And uh, we need to uh, take this big nut off of here. All right, so you need a little uh, Dewey to lock the blade. It's got the little hole right there. So you put something in there and then you rotate your blade until she locks which actually I nailed it right on there so that's good and put that on there now this is a backwards backwards uh, threaded nut so you actually got to go the tighten way to loosen it so it's kind of different oh maybe I didn't yeah Ooh. that's a bit wheeled yeah, let's try that again. Okay, that's definitely locked in. Okay. Now we got her. This is a lock nut too. Ah, for Fred Flintstone's sakes. Okay. It's a lock nut too, so you gotta pretty much fight her all the way to the very end. There we go. Now, very important if you do have something like these or one of these, um, do not lose this nut. If you go uh, lose that nut, you know, a special nut and everything, it's ten dollars for one nut from the dealer. <laughs> so I got a uh, thing I hang all this stuff on here. That little cone thing comes off. That goes on. This thing too is a little special little washer with some little gnarly things on it. You don't want to make sure you don't lose that as well. So that goes up. And then you take your blade off. There you go. And that's sharpenable. You can sharpen like a tooth back. Like see that one's kind of dinged there a bit. It needs a bit of a sharpen. That's uh, definitely doable. Now, I don't know what's left on here for string. Oh, there's a fair bit actually. And uh, basically this just... Uh, Threads on, same deal, and just tighten her down. And you're done. Pretty slick, eh? Oh, we gotta put the guard on. Uh, okay. So that's actually a plate for the other one. This one's already got one on it. So this will attach itself. There. It's got a special little torque dewey there, so you got to use use that little sucker. 
get a couple of these started just so it lines it up for me. Look, I missed it. I did miss it. Still missing it. Okay. Yeah, I am. What's going on here? Thought maybe the holes are all bunged up, but they're not bad. Okay, I think I got that one. Get this one lined up. Some people use it without the guard, but it sort of helps keep the stuff from splattering all over you. Uh, like it does anyways, but it does actually stop well, you can see it all in there, right? If you didn't have the guard thing on, that would have splattered all over all over your leg or whatever and stuff. So. But anyways, um, yesterday, there was a comment left I noticed on the, the video from yesterday there, from I guess the part when I was starting to work on this bucket back here, saying he was bored with that. Didn't want to see any more fabrication videos. And uh, that sort of kind of ticked me off a little bit, you know, because I've uh, purchased a $2,500 plasma cutter and uh, about $2,700 welder here now to make fabrication videos for you, you guys, and, uh, you know, for stuff that I need too, right? So it's kind of a thing, thing, whatever you call it, right? And I uh, said he was kind of not wanting to watch any more fabrication videos. He's bored of them. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, you got to remember, this is what I do. I uh, mess around with welders quite a bit. And uh, plasma cutters, if it was there, it was in the back right now. And build stuff, you know. That's one of my passions. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing probably for the rest of my life is building cool stuff, you know, like this. So... Uh, I mean, if you don't enjoy watching it, then I can just say don't watch it, you know. If you see me starting to work on stuff, you don't like that, turn it off. That's all I can tell you to do. I can't tell you to, to do anything else, so that's the way she is, that's the way she is. But anyways, uh, we've got this good to go. So we'll go hook her up to the other machine. We'll head her to the back there, where it was working, where it was really heavy-duty stuff. And... Uh, we should be good to go. Let's tighten that on. Uh, should be good. It's probably going to need gas. But that's no problem. I got uh, some nice fresh gas mixed up here this morning. Now, just sort of touching back on uh, the comment there. Uh, we are going to be doing shed stuff soon. Well, it's actually not too bad. Doing shed stuff soon, so we'll be getting into a bit of that. Got to get those big, long 16-footers yet, but uh, we got the, the gravels there ready to go. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some different things, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm building stuff and basically doing it myself. Saving the uh, cemetery here piles and piles and piles of money. Uh, because, you know, if you went to John Deere and say I wanted a rip or two for my tractor, I bet you there's, I bet you there's $1,500, $1,500 in tax sitting there. Uh, snowplow, couldn't get one like that, that's for sure. But snowplow was probably about three grand. I think that's probably with the lift and dewy and everything, you know, kind of, well, sort of like that thing. And, uh, what else have I done? That trailer. John Deere doesn't even build a trailer like that, but I bet you you're into $3,500 there for something something like that. You know, power up, power down. It's a pretty freaking nice trailer, so, you know, I've saved them piles and piles of money, so I kind of brought you guys along the way, too, so I kind of hope you've enjoyed her, you know. It's been uh, fun for me and hopefully fun for you. But uh, anyways, uh, we're going to go do a bit of weed, weed whacker in here, and uh, we'll get Big Daddy fired up. Anyways, let's go.
Well, there you go. That's one row, anyways. Uh, and then that old fella came and, you know, disturbed me there, too, to ask where so-and-so was buried. And luckily, I knew where the guy was buried, so... Holy frig. But then the phone rang twice, too, so... <laughs> what do you do? But anyways, I'll finish this off, and then I'm probably going to mow it, too. So, anyways, I'll talk to you in a few. All right, so we got her all trimmed. About, uh... Oh, 15 minutes maybe or so, something like that, I don't know, I wasn't really counting to uh, finish the rest, so it wasn't bad. So, we're just going to fire up here now and uh, find a spot probably just under that tree that we can just mow that area there quick and then dump the trailer off. drop this off here and uh, it's a heavy trailer who built that holy anyways so we'll, uh, we'll do some mowing I do the same thing here I do a ring around the outside and then just start going at her you know so I'll uh, probably won't film much of that because you know we sort of seen a bit of that yesterday and stuff but uh, Maybe we'll get uh, the outside ring done and get back over to where the trailer is here. I'll start on that side and then do the whoosh, back and forth. And then when we get back here, I'll I'll do a here's here's how she looks kind of thing. So anyways, okay, here we go. All right, so we're just rocking right along here. We're about uh, over half done, I guess now over here, and uh, she's looking good. Bit of bit of freaking uh, biogas stuff left there, but that's okay. It'll dry out and blow away, no doubt. So yeah, we'll keep going and uh, we'll check in again uh, when we get it all done here. Well, there we go, we're all done. So this all in total probably took, oh, uh, mowing and trimming probably an hour and a half. Roughly, it's not a huge section, so. But uh, anyways, looks a lot better. Oh, it's so much cooler in here today. Holy frig, it's so hot and muggy out there today. Oh man, but uh, anyways, we got quite a bit done today. We got, um, one section that was really needing a good trim. We did the first thing today and we mowed that one. Yeah, we mowed that one. <laughs> I had to think of it with that. And uh, then uh, we did that other one back there and mowed that one too. So anyways, but I was having a thinking about um, sort of what I was saying earlier about uh, people getting bored with the, the fabrication videos. So how about instead of doing like the whole video like that, we'll just do like a segment part in the video of it. So sort of like yesterday where I just, you know, cut that sheet out and that was kind of it, right? So maybe today we'll uh, get this other sheet marked for the top piece there and maybe we'll snip that off and then that'll be it for today for that kind of thing. It's going to take a lot longer to build the bucket, but that'll kind of spread her out instead of, you know, making like a four hour video just making a bucket. So. Uh, there's actually two cuts I got to do. I got to cut the other side of this, and then measure and mark and cut the top, I guess, of that. I don't know what's better to have the. Oh, pardon me. Cut that there and have that fall on you, or cut that there and have this fall on you. <laughs> you know, it's like cutting a tree down. Which where do you start? Do you start at the top or do you start at the bottom? So I'll probably start at the top here. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna have to uh, also as well kind of somehow space them out from each other so I don't end up cutting through both of them and that's a freaking tall sheet you know that it's got to be an eight footer because I'm about six so I'm looking about here seven yeah probably eight and a half maybe man heavy sheet too but anyways we'll uh, see what we can do there and uh, maybe we're gonna we're gonna do this maybe right now and then probably call our day because holy man we free note the day's over again you know so but anyways, uh, let me get stuff situated. I'll get this cut uh, going here first, probably, and then we can get this sheet up out of the way for now. And yeah, so let's get at her. Oh, 
Okay, so we're good to cut, and hopefully I don't die here, because this is going to be a heavy piece. <laughs> but if she falls, she falls. I ain't going to try to stop it. I'm going to try to slow her down at the end so, you know, I can maybe slow it down a bit, but uh, whatever happens, well, whatever happens, I guess. So, anyways, here we go. Now, this stuff's a bit thinner, so it should cut a bit quicker, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got the little uh, 3 8 on the bottom plate on the uh, Jack Dewey. And I was just looking at this piece here, and if you look down it, it's pretty... Huh, a bunch of branches just fell out of that tree over there. Okay. Uh, it's pretty wobbly compared to this end. This end's, uh, let's see here pretty good so I'm going to put that end down this end here will go down so I have lots of nice square to weld to and then up here is going to get the uh, I haven't thought of it really but probably a, probably a two inch piece of square or something we'll put onto there just and it'll screw that up quite a bit and that'll help you know control the top because on that one there's like a a rollover thing right so probably what I'll do on that one is the same deal as that so uh, I'm going to try to get this piece up onto there and see how she looks. Now I don't have the welder in this side here right now to uh, it's still down over there somewhere for uh, spot welding that together. But uh, maybe I'll drag it up here and then uh, spot welder I would think it's looking pretty good and then we'll see if she's going to stay there or not. Alright so I got you guys up on the welder here and uh, I don't know if this is going to work too well. This might end up falling off of here, but uh, I wonder now if I should uh, be using my magnets and stuff, but they're only like a 90. I don't, I don't know. I'll just do her by eye, I guess. Oh. Okay, handle in here. Okay. I don't know if that's going to tip off of there or what. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. I just sort of had a brainwave. 
it's going to reduce the size of my bucket, but if I leave her out there, it leaves me like this much room to cut my uh, square things into on the back there for the, uh, the gooeys, but uh, for the locks for the, the loader there, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put her back a bit maybe. Now, the big question is how much angleage Oh, wait, that's going to be a big bucket, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, Nelly. Stay there. Okay, somewhere about there. I don't want to. What? Straight up, but. Uh, check get my mask I think here I can do a bit more better welding there okay we got some bigger tacks on there now to hold her I think those should hold her all right it seems a little more solidy now so it's a little floppy doppy still there but once we get some deweys on her she should be good now I got one issue though with the stupid sheet that's a little warped there you can see her I got a pretty good measurement from there to there and from about here down to the thing but then over there I'm losing about half an inch or three quarters of an inch so I'm gonna have to remember to fix that uh, sort of before we uh, start going too crazy on it you know but uh, making side plates and stuff I don't know how I'm gonna do that exactly but I think if I make uh, both side plates sort of like this size triangular size there we should be able to get her so yeah lots of fun so now how am I going to make plates for that that's going to be the fun thing measuring for that and stuff well, it looks pretty freaking huge doesn't it but uh, that was the idea you know because it's narrower narrower and that's actually for when I do one of those small holes that it just dumps in the hole not all over the ground you know with that big wide one you dump half of it out on the ground and uh, I want it because uh, it's going smaller left and right and I want her to be bigger in the middle to hold more right so uh, once we get this hooked up we should be able to tilt her back and there'll be a fairly big heap of dirt you know in this thing I know it's hard to imagine right now but once we get uh, working on her a bit more I think she should come up pretty good so I guess that's probably gonna be it for today I wanted to weld some more and I thought oh crap I don't have my shirt on I'll be getting uh, freaking scorched and stuff eh so uh, I got to get my other shirt, so I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow. I'll bring that down and uh, put her on while we're welding and stuff, and uh, we should get her together pretty good. So I guess the next step would be to um, probably put a few more tacks on her, enough that I can maybe move it. I'll probably put some, likely on the back here too, somewhere. You know, spot, 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 spot all the way along or something. Enough that it's going to be you know solid and enough to be able to move it because I think probably what I'm gonna do is put the rest of this sheet on the ground should be able to get hopefully both pieces out of it and, uh, and then put this thing on it sideways and then just trace around the outside of it I think I'll leave like a you know for the plate I'll leave a, like a quarter inch gap all the way around it or something now I'll put like a something in there and then draw around it and we'll cut those out and get the side plates sort of mounted on. That'll stiffen her up quite a bit. And uh, it'll sort of bind this to down here, you know, and then 
holder in place with the plate. So that'll be the game plan uh, tomorrow possibly. I've got to do a funeral, probably dig it tomorrow for Friday. And uh, yeah, we'll be looking good. But anyways, I guess that's it for today. And we'll talk to you tomorrow, no doubt. And uh, thanks for watching and stuff today. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you uh, tomorrow. Oh, somebody was asking about this here. If that was a tattoo. It's, uh, no, it's not. Um, I've got a little skin issue there, we'll say. I've got um, some of that psoriasis, they call it. And uh, it's not really bad. It's just basically uh, an issue with your immune system. And uh, it makes your skin reproduce skin cells faster than normal. So what that does is it thickens your skin there a whole bunch and then it starts to get flaky and flakes off and it's really gross and stuff. And uh, so I'm on uh, doing a bunch of stuff for it and stuff. But the thing is, it's kind of a chronic thing, right? It's probably never going to go away, really. You can treat it and, you know, do stuff with it, but it's, it's really not going to go away, so it sort of sucks. But anyways, that's about the only spot I've got. i got a couple of little spots, but um, that's, uh, like, you know, the worst one right there. So, yeah, it's pretty nasty, I know. But, uh, yeah, that's my tattoo, my uh, red splotch tattoo. Anyway, so you guys have a good day and stuff. And uh, we'll talk at you later.